An American scientist is hopeful a human clinical trial in China will prove an antiviral drug originally tested on Ebola will work against coronavirus. Chinese media is reporting more than 700 patients with the virus are now part of a randomised trial where two-thirds of the participants will receive the drug, remdesivir, while others will just get standard treatments. Neither the doctors or the patients will know who has received the drug until after the trial. Dr Tim Shee is a professor of epidemiology at the Gillings School of Global Public Health in South Carolina. He spent the last five years in the lab testing remdesivir against other coronaviruses like MERS and SARS with good results and that's prompted the leap to human trials following this new outbreak. I asked him how a drug developed for Ebola works to destroy these types of, vi- types of viruses. Uh, viruses are parasites, so they have to use some of our machinery in our body to replicate themselves. And so what, um, what viruses do is they use the building blocks inside of our cells to create, um, to replicate new viruses. And what remdesivir does is basically stop, um, stop that process. So it's kind of like a Trojan horse where it gums up the works of the virus using our building blocks and it ends up making defective copies of itself that don't work. So if it showed some promise, what are the next steps or the information that's required to make best use of it? So um, the next step would be a human clinical trial and that's what is happening right now in China. Um, So um, it's something I never thought would ever happen in in my lifetime, where something that I have done in the lab goes on to be tested in a person. Um, But um, the work that we've done kind of set this drug up to be used for situations such as this. So um, they are now enrolling patients and they're using this drug in a randomized control trial in China um, where the most cases are. Is it unusual for things to move that quickly? Um, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, I guess normally there's a process that doesn't have a sense of urgency attached to it where you can test a a drug in patients and, um, it doesn't have the same urgency associated with it as this does now. But I think for emerging viruses like this new coronavirus, um, where, um, you know, there aren't existing therapies. Um, they're trying to move this as fast as possible to figure out if this can be used not only in the people in the trial, but people um, after that if it proves to be effective. So realistically, how long would it take before you have the results of a, of a study like the one that they're carrying out in China? Um, that's hard for me to predict. Um, I'm not working directly, um, with the clinicians that are doing the work, but I would imagine that there'll be some, they'll have some insight into whether it works or not in, um, weeks to months. So what was this drug originally made for? That's a great question. Uh, the drug has been tested in people with Ebola. Um, So um, it's a really interesting drug because it's a broad spectrum antiviral. So it works not only against coronavirus, uh, it works against Ebola virus and other viruses um, that make people sick, like um, RSV, which makes babies and uh, the elderly really sick, um, and some other really crazy things that um, um, are found in bats in like um, the Indian subcontinent um, called Nipah and Hendra virus, and they cause like really severe disease and death uh, in people as well. So before this study that's currently underway, was it used to, to specifically treat viruses like SARS before in humans? No, no. So this is the first time that remdesivir has been used in humans to treat coronavirus. Well, how much confidence do you have in in this being a treatment? Uh, I'm pretty confident. Um, just, I have firsthand like working knowledge with this drug. So, um, uh, as far as the things that I've tested so far, this is the best thing that I've seen for coronavirus. So, um, but um, so I'm hopeful that it will work. But uh, it's hard to say until the data comes out of these trials whether it's working or not. Could there be any particular risks with testing it on so many people in this trial? Um, so it's gone through um, like safety testing in people. 
So I, I don't think there's um, a risk of the people taking the medication itself. Um, but, um, you know, things do happen as drugs are tested in people. Um, uh, you know, everyone's different. So drugs might behave differently in me than they would in you. Um, but I think uh, the very basic testing that you need to use medications like this in people has been done. So um, it's not like um, it's a completely experimental thing that um, um, that has never ha hasn't jumped through these hoops, basically. So just to be clear, it would be a treatment rather than something you take as uh, as a preemptive strike. Yeah, so that's a good point. So I could see this being used in two different ways. So it could be used in patients who are sick to try and save their lives or um, lessen their symptoms or make their disease shorter. Um, but I could see like if you have um, healthcare workers getting sick in a hospital setting, um, I could see it getting used for healthcare workers, nurses, and doctors to try and limit the spread in those people who are taking care of the sick people. So if coronavirus came to your neighbourhood, your building, would you My take kitchen. it? My Yeah. Would you take it as, <laughs> as a, pre, a preemptive medication? Um, I would have no hesitation taking it if things got that bad. Um but, yeah, it's hard to say where this is going to go, if it's going to be a pandemic or not. Just one other thing before you go. There is obviously reports of um, HIV drugs being trialled as treatments. Is there any suggestion that that they have some, some value? I, I would be surprised if that turned out to be true. And like the trial that is ongoing in China for remdesivir, there are also... Uh, several clinical trials testing all different medications for this coronavirus, one of which being um, these HIV drugs that um, have been in the news. Um, I have personal experience testing these HIV drugs against coronavirus, and they don't work as well as um, you would want them to work, definitely not as well as remdesivir. Um, so, I, yeah, I, I have... A, a low expectations for that stuff working. You know, these HIV drugs are made to be specific for HIV. And so when you take a medication like that, that's very specific and really potent against one virus and you try and use it for another virus, the likelihood of that working um, is low unless they're really similar genetically. And they're not like HIV and coronavirus are not similar. And that's Dr. Tim Sheehan.